Jack Welch, you traveled across the country visiting businesses while writing your new book, The Real Life MBA. So in your view, what's the state of the U.S. economy? Uh, hard, tough, uh, slow growth, uh, grind. And one of the things about our new book is we talk about ways to get out of the grind, to make work more exciting, to make work more fun, to find growth. Growth is hard to come by for most businesses today. Well, GE used to be a barometer of the economy. It's, it was so well diversified, industrials, financials. Now it's slimming down, getting rid of some of the real estate, some of the financial assets. What do you make of the recent changes? Well, I think they're terrific. The world has changed since 2008. The world has really changed. Financial re regulations and SIFI, that rule, it makes it very tough to grow a financial services business. The leverage has been re reduced. Now, these are good assets. I mean, GE will earn 42% of the company's earnings last year on financial services. So it's a great time to sell because people are looking for yield. And it's perfect. So it's a perfect time to sell, and it's time for GE to move back to its industrial roots. We had a 27-year run that was fantastic in financial services. But like every other company, change comes, the good ones react. The re reason why Dow GE's been in the Dow Jones from the beginning to the end, the only company, is it changed with the times. In the book, you talk a lot about leadership. How would you rate Jeff Immelt's leadership considering the stock price has lagged the S&P over the last decade or so? Well, look, you've got to look at, at the times. He ran, he ran into 9-11. He ran into the financial crisis, two things that were tough to deal with. So he's had to, had to fight through it, but, uh, and he's doing it, and he's a good leader. And he made this gutsy call here, which was a big deal for the company, and I, uh, I give him an A-plus for this move. Is there any feeling that he's undoing a lot of the things that you built? Look, the day I left, I gave a speech to all the employees. I said to Jeff, now it's yours. Blow it up. Go change it. That's what my pre predecessor told me, and I did. I sold you Tyler International, a mining conglomerate that he had bought because Jimmy Carter had inflation at all levels, and we wanted to be in natural re re resources. Within 12 months, I sold it. So, I mean, that's what makes GE work. For some reason, we're able to get CEOs that are right for the times. And this came, what, you want, you want to keep the horse and the buggy when the car is invented? The game changed. Regulation is all over financial services. It's a bitch compared to what it used to be. Do you think the days of the conglomerate are over? No, nothing to do with that. They'll, they'll make other things. They're, they've still got health care. They've still got a, a $90 billion portfolio in, 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 ver, in vertical businesses. So they're, they're in financial services. They're not in financial services to the extent they were because the game changed. It'd be like taking skates to a basketball court. It's the wrong game today. All right, well, speaking of regulation and healthcare and financial services, Hillary Clinton announced her candidacy for presidency this past weekend. Once again, you talk a lot about leadership in the book. How would you rate her as a leader? I don't know her well enough. I don't know how, all I know is her public persona. Whether it's uh, hiding emails or doing other stuff, I don't know her as a leader. I, I'm not close enough. I can't touch her. I don't know. Secretary I don't know of State how she and the relates. Senator, that's, that, that, that's not enough, or you still think there's more I didn't underneath? See. I didn't see how she related to her people. I don't know. All I know is the public persona, the media. I have, no, I have no take on her leadership capabilities. What about on the Republican side? Are there any candidates that you like? I know only a few have come out, but I think we're going to get a lot more. I, I'm attracted right now to Ted Cruz. I think he's a, he says what he'll do, and he does it. He's strong-willed. He's for free markets. He's for strong defense. He's a, he's a very smart guy, extremely smart. You saw his rollout, and uh, I, he, he's intriguing me a lot more every day. All right, thanks a lot, Jack Welch. Awful nice talk talking to you. Thank you for watching The Street.